Today I am talking about Layla Jane's swim lessons. She had a really hard time floating. I am so proud of her. So Layla Jane loves the pool. She absolutely loves going in, playing, especially with daddy because he throws her around and they have a ball. She's definitely not afraid of the water, but she doesn't know how to swim yet. We've tried swim lessons over the years where you know she goes like once a week for 30 minutes and I felt like just nothing was really sticking or sinking in. So then I heard about this amazing teacher who does swim intensives. It's two weeks, four days each week, and each lesson is only 20 minutes. I immediately booked her as soon as I could and the classes have already filled up. I am so excited to see uh, how this would work and if she would really be capable of swimming at the end of these two weeks. She missed the first two days because she was sick. She had an ear infection and a really bad cough, so obviously we were not gonna get her in the pool. So instead of having eight 20 minute lessons, she only got six. But was hoping that she would still pick up everything she needed. So let's start with day one. So on day one, there were a lot of tears. She did not wanna do it. I think she was a little nervous because she had to go in without her floaties, kind of like her safety net, and she was very um, worried that she would sink. But after we got through some of the tears, she started relaxing and doing okay. They just kind of went around the pool once and the teacher was just absolutely amazing with her. And then one of the things they would do is they used like little toys, Disney figures, and they would have her practice kind of walking along the wall, the pool wall, and taking one toy and putting it in a bucket. They also stressed pool arms, which is where you you know, you go like this and um, reach all the way forward and out. They're trying to get them away from doing doggy paddle and they do swim arms or pool arms, they were calling it. They would also have her get maybe like three feet from the wall and she would have to swim using her pool arms and then reach up to the wall, grab one of her toys and put it in the bucket. All of that in the first lesson. And she did that routine where she would swim, grab a toy and put in the bucket with all five of her toys. They did that about five times. And they did all of this within 20 minutes. She did really well. I was very impressed. They also had her float on her back and practice her back float because that's kind of like their safety when they get tired or they need a break just to learn how to float on their back and breathe. That was a little tricky for her because she kept wanting to put her chin down and kick her legs and she just wasn't able to float. So that was something that I knew they would probably be working on throughout the week. But that was it for pretty much for day one. One thing that kind of helped at the end was it was right across from this little barn that had these little miniature horses. We went over and pet them afterwards and that definitely cheered her up. But we we're so excited we got through day one. Day two, uh, she did not wanna go again. She kept telling me she didn't feel well, she had a tummy ache, but we went and she ended up doing great again. I mean, there were definitely some tears. This time around, they started off just kind of swimming around the pool and then they did the same thing where did they did her pool arms and then she would swim up to the wall, grab a doll or little figurine and put it in the bucket. And then pretty soon the teacher had her just swimming to her underwater and they would do it for like two to three seconds and she would step away probably about three feet and have Layla Jane swim to her. She did okay at that. She didn't want to at first because she didn't like going underwater, which normally she loves to go underwater. But again, I think it was just not having that safety net of the floaties that made her really nervous. But she was doing great at it. You know, she's such a trooper. She still did it even though she was nervous. And I was super proud of her. And then they spent a lot of time practicing climbing out of the pool and then jumping back in. They probably did that about four or five times. At the very end, she always has her swim from hold it from her the instructor to the stairs and then we were done 20 minutes was over day three was the beginning of the next week and again it should have been day five but we we're just on day three and this time around she was doing a little bit better not so upset not crying the whole time which was great and they worked on a bunch of the same things you know working with the little figures kind of swimming around the pool the only difference this time is when the instructor would stand away from later and have her swim to her. She would have Layla Jane swim doing her pool arms and then they would call it rainbow arm and she would 
flip over from on her tummy to on her back and then float. She had a really hard time floating because she would always wanna put her chin like this or kick her legs. And the instructor was trying to get her to put her chin back and just relax and just float and not move her legs. So kind of like that safety thing. Like if you ever feel like you're drowning, you just roll over and float. So she was really struggling with that. But so they worked on that for a while. And that was pretty much day three, was just working on those rainbow arms and flipping over and then floating. On day four, she started off jumping into the pool with the instructor. She was not scared at all. She is actually become very comfortable with the instructor and really likes her. But she got to go around on a kickboard for a while, which she thought was amazing. And then they just worked on a bunch of the same things. So swimming to the instructor, doing her rainbow arms and flipping over, practicing her pool arms, and then swimming from the instructor to the edge of the pool and practicing her back float. It's so funny because she was like getting so comfortable. And when Layla Jane is comfortable with someone, she becomes a quite a chatterbox. I would just be sitting there like seeing the instructor like waiting to get started to do something but Layla Jane was just blabbing away right in the middle of a story and the instructor was so good and so patient with her but it was a really good day and I can definitely see so much more improvement and just so much confidence too she's gaining in herself. After the day four of swimming, I had a special surprise for Layla. My mom was flying into town to be here for the birth of our next baby, and she flew in early, which she wasn't supposed to be here till the following week. So that was such a fun and good surprise for Layla Jane. That meant that for day five of swim lessons, grandma got to be there. That was super special for Layla Jane. She loved showing off her grandma. They did kind of the same things again. Um, start off with the kickboard, they got the little figure, Figures, and they spent a majority of the time practicing swimming on her stomach and then using rainbow arms flipping over and then um, floating on her back. And she was doing so much better. And by the end, the instructor was trying to get her to float by herself for like five seconds. And she struggled with that, but by the end, she did do it. Like once or twice, she was able to float by herself. The instructor just barely had her hand underneath her just in case. She was finally, you know, keeping her chin up, not trying to kick and squirm her legs. And oh my gosh, she was so proud of herself. That was actually a super long swim lesson because the people that were supposed to come afterwards had to cancel. So since we missed two lessons, the instructor was nice enough to let us take that spot. So Layla was actually in the pool doing lessons for like 40 minutes and she was exhausted at the end. But it was soon made up for because we found a huge uh, swing from a tree kind of right by the barn where all the horses were. And she had so much fun swinging on there afterwards with grandma and everything was great. Her final lesson, I was so bummed because I was not able to make it. I had my ob appointment, my 36 week ultrasound. They actually ended up finding a few kind of weird abnormalities and complications, which you can see in another vlog of mine. And my appointment ended up going almost three hours. And so fortunately grandma was home with her and was able to take her to her appointment and she filmed some for me and said she was doing great. She was floating so well. She was so happy in there. And it just makes me so happy too. And at the end of the two weeks, we did seven lessons for 20 minutes. I wouldn't say I feel comfortable just like letting her swim, like she's a professional now or is totally okay being in the water. But I do feel like she learned more in this two weeks than she did taking any other lesson that we've ever signed her up for. I just feel like the confidence she has now is amazing. Unfortunately, Brian was never able to make one of the lessons because it was always during the work day. So today we are going to head over to the pool. Brian's actually taking a little lunch break and we're going to go to the pool so she can show him everything she learned and we can see what she remembers. It's actually been about six days since her last lesson. We've had horrible weather here. It's been cold and rainy, so obviously we didn't go to the pool. I'm anxious to see what she remembers and how she does getting back in the pool. I am 
so proud of her. I can't believe how well she's doing. And like I said, it's been a quite a few days since she was last in the pool because she was sick and because the weather was so bad. So I'm very impressed how much she remembers. And she is just so thrilled and so proud of herself to show daddy what she can do. I can't believe how well she's floating too. That was such a hard thing for her to get just to relax and keep her chin up. She's doing awesome now. We definitely have some things to work on, but overall, I think she's doing amazing, and that was money and time well spent. I wish I would have signed up for maybe one more week of lessons, because she is already booked for the rest of the summer, but we'll just keep working with her on our own in the pool and keep her going.